Hey everybody, bonus episode. Wanted to talk today on Ask Me Anything a little bit more, take it to the next level on some of the finer details of collection development. Now, over the last few days, I talked about how we add items, how we remove items, but I wanted to um, give some basis, kind of like a philosophy on collection development that I've noticed over the years. Many libraries from years ago bought books for their collection just in case. They have a whole bunch of books on one section just in case. They do not weed out or get rid of many books just in case somebody wants to read that one book. Um, I've actually heard of some librarians over the years where they see a book that they like, they don't want the library to weed it, so they take it and they know it's going to be weeded and they take it and then they go check it out to themselves and check it back in so that it gets a check out. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> um, so, but o over the years, you can only have that kind of philosophy for so long, you know, especially with a limited amount of space, limited amount of well, budget, um, you know, stockpiling books. And that kind of lives on today, as I talked about, with needing to have so many items in your collection to meet that state aid. Um, so that kind of makes that, so, that sort of a philosophy difficult to cast aside. Um, I've seen libraries, academic libraries, and even some public libraries adopt this new philosophy um, over the years called buying to meet immediate demand, where they don't necessarily buy everything that's on a bestseller list or they think is highly reviewed, they buy and consider a lot of their purchases off of what patrons want immediately right now that they're demanding. Not screaming about necessarily, but that they want. Um, I've seen some libraries where they actually signed up for a program with Amazon where whenever somebody requested an item um, to be borrowed, it's automatically bought through Amazon and actually shipped to that person. That's why we love Amazon Prime, many of us, so much is because we get it so quickly. So libraries think, hey, why not? Let's do it quickly. But they are considering what the customer wants or the patron. Um, I'm not saying make your whole collection philosophy around that um, because maybe just one person wants that really specific book. But you're, you're meeting the, you know, the needs of people and what they want to read. So it's worth you know, incorporating. One part of collection development that is key is interlibrary loan, which is a free service to you that you can request from us any item you want. And we look throughout Pennsylvania. And if we can't find it there, we look throughout the country. We find it. We ask for it. We get it for you. And it's free for you. And it usually gives you about a month to have it. Um, shout out to Gene. You do a great job with this. Gene's been doing interlibrary loan requests, uh, giving and taking for about a year or so now. That uh, usually accounts for almost 100 requests, giving and taking over a course of a month alone. Um, as a public library, we buy books for the public, not for an esoteric subject or field like you might see in an academic or school library. So we can't buy everything. Our budget you know, sometimes can't afford it, um, but in our library loan is there. So if you have anything, as long as it's not from this calendar year, we can get it for you through in our library loan. Ask in person or go on to our website. So enjoy this bonus. Uh, have a great day, great weekend, and continue to ask us anything.